and should pay more when it uses the Postal Service to deliver its orders saying that that's part of its financial problems. But the much bigger reasons are huge personnel costs and the fact that most people are not sending as much first class mail. Still, the president makes Amazon his target. The president primed Amazon for attack as a candidate. If I become president, oh, do they have problems? Amazon is getting away with murder tax wise and is ramping up the pressure as president, tweeting a series of unfounded accusations against the online retail titan, claiming the Postal Service loses billions of dollars delivering Amazon packages. The president demanded, this post office scam must stop. Amazon must pay real costs. But experts say Amazon has a confidential contract for package delivery that was approved by Postal Service regulators, bringing new business to a struggling enterprise. Mail volume's gone down more than 25% over the last decade, and Amazon and other companies are bringing parcels into a, a system that's desperately in need of revenue. Undercutting another claim made by the president, Amazon does collect sales tax in all 45 states that require it but third-party sellers on its site act independently. On the tax issue, for the most part, Amazon's a good corporate citizen. But the president's real ire appears aimed at Amazon's billionaire founder, Jeff Bezos, who also owns a frequent Trump target, the Washington Post. Or the Washington Post, which I call a lobbying tool for Amazon. Okay, that's a lobbying tool for Amazon. But over a much bigger conflict, the U.S. and Russia expelling each other's diplomats, the president stays quiet. Russian staffers being sent home in response to a nerve agent attack in Britain, packed up at the embassy, and a Russian aircraft took off from Washington. While in Russia, the stars and stripes were lowered from the U.S. consulate in St. Petersburg. And on this Easter Sunday, it's expected that the first family is celebrating with a meal and perhaps going to church. And then they head back to Washington this afternoon. And tomorrow, the first lady hosts the very long tradition of the White House Easter egg roll, welcoming thousands of children to the South Lawn. Willie? A lot in there. Kelly O'Donnell with the president in Florida. Kelly, thanks so much.